Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're doing another unboxing from a brand that I featured on my channel a couple of times and it's Circula or Circula from Germany. Now if you follow my channel I actually featured their classic automatic and they're a brand that's been around for a while but they kind of shut down and actually the grandson of the original founder revived the brand. I featured them a couple of times because the first time when they sent me a watch it had some flaws and the owner reached out and asked me to send the watch back and they made a claim that they're gonna be returning and exchanging any watches with defects from their customers. So their customer care is pretty high and they take pride in their watches. That classic automatic was a regular everyday watch. They also feature a couple of their historical models using the movements from the 70s that their original models had that were made in the same city as Circula. Those are new old stock movements. But with this model they're trying to get to the mainstream and we're gonna open it and see it now when I say mainstream you know what I mean it's a dive watch and this is also a recreation of their historical dive watch from the 70s so let's open it and see what's what Well, this has a lot of protective things. Okay, let's get the box out. There we go. We even got a sizing tool. And an extra rubber strap as well as a strap changing tool, which is pretty cool. Let's move all this away. So this is the tool for sizing the bracelet I believe. This is the extra rubber strap and a tool for exchanging the strap. This is the box so it's a standard circular box with the outer white white cardboard sleeve. Once you remove that you have this nice green leather red box just like the classic automatic I already reviewed. So now let's open and see what we got. And here it is on a nice pillow their diver and as you can see this has been removed probably during transport because it has quick release pins which is pretty cool so I'll just reattach this and we'll continue with the watch okay we're back and I used the opportunity of reattaching this to also not just remove the protective film but also resize the bracelet because I was too impatient to see how this thing looks on my wrist and that gave me the opportunity to use the supplied tool and I really like it because you can uh, adjust the level of the bracelet with this and just uh, put, push the pins out using this. I have a plastic version of this with this tip where this tip broke off and I actually was in need of one of these tools and with the tool you actually get these like four or three of these replacements ones so it's pretty cool. Now as, as for the watch itself it's pretty impressive. It has this 70s style because like I said this is a recreation of their diver from the 70s. Spec wise the watch hits the sweet spot for my 6.7 inch wrist. It's 39 millimeter in diameter with a 46 millimeter lug to lug and just over 13 millimeters thick including the crystal although it's 12.8 without the crystal. The crystal is sapphire slightly curved and the bezel is also sapphire and features 120 clicks. So let's try the bezel first. The clicks are firm but the bezel itself is on the soft side, however it does align perfectly so it's pretty sweet. The case itself is made and finished by hand in Germany, that's what they claim. So all the brushing and polishing is done by hand which is something we'll see in the macro shots of the full review. Because remember this is just the unboxing and first impressions so do stay tuned for that full review to see all the details. Although even like this we can see that the finishing is pretty good. The crown is a screwing crown as you would expect from a 200 meter water resistant watch. 
comes with this pretty cool orange detail inside and it's signed with the Circula logo. Now these watches come in a range of dial colors and also two or actually three versions of the movement. So this is the basic one which you can see by the warranty card as it's powered by the STP111, which is a fossil group movement. These retail for 499 euros and are available on a rubber strap or this beads of rice bracelet. Now the prices go up all the way to 799 euros for the chronometer version of the ETA 2824 and there's also one which is I believe 699 or something like that where you can get the ETA 2824 but without the chronometer certification. So everyone can get one. So you, you can get this entry level model or you can get the top of the range. The design is the same on everyone, it's just the movement that makes the difference. This comes with hacking, hand winding, date at 6 o'clock and it's a pretty good entry-level movement. Nothing special, but it's, to me, even better than the Seiko NH35. Now, like I said, the crystal is sapphire, the bezel is sapphire as well, and I really like this chaptering in orange with this sunburst slate gray uh, dial, so it's pretty cool. Now, let's try the loom to see what's what, and since the watch was in the box for so long, we're gonna charge it on my on my torch, or should I say studio light, and we'll see what's what. Okay, that should be enough. Let's turn off the light. And there we go. As you can see, the loom of the hour markers and the hands is pretty intensive. It's all Swiss Super Luminova, but the bezel is done in blue, which is visibly weaker. Now, I like this because when in the dark, I just want to read the time. I don't really need all this additional information. When manufacturers usually put all the parts on the bezel loomed, I really dislike it. I like it like this more. However, I would like for them to at least include the triangle in green, in the matching intensity and color as these markers. That's the one downside of this type of a bezel. But overall, the loom is pretty excellent. Like I said, only on the bezel, it's slightly weaker. The case back, as you can see, is solid. The bracelet, as you saw from me attaching it, it uses these quick release pins, which is pretty cool because when you have solid end links on a bracelet, unless you have that double prong tool, it's pretty hard to get them in without scratching the case. But with this, you can do it with your hands without damaging the lugs, which is what I did just minutes ago. It's a beads of rice bracelet, which is one of my favorite styles because these types of bracelets are incredibly comfortable. And it features brushed sides with a polished uh, center links, while the clasp itself is the opposite. Over here, the sides, the outer edges are polished while the center is brushed. It's signed with Circula and it's a machined clasp. The only thing that makes it look a bit cheap or dated is the micro adjustment system, which is the same as on Seiko 5s and watches 20 years ago. I wish they included some type of a glide lock, but what can you do? Other than that, the bracelet seems pretty good. Now let's put it on my wrist and conclude this unboxing and first impressions. So, since I couldn't wait, I actually had to size it. And so you're gonna be able to see it on my 6.7 inch wrist. And here it is. Like I said, 39 millimeters and 46 lug to lug. It hits the sweet spot for a dive watch on my wrist. And I really do like it. I will be doing, like I said, a full review after I spend some time with this, wearing it and everything, but you can expect me to wear it because I really, really like these styles of watches. Look at it. It really does look pretty cool. Anyways, that's it. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.